So I'm going over the algebraic version of the tax model. And to, to think about this, first we're going to have a $20 tax, and we have equations for our supply curve and equations for our demand curve in this type of problem. So if you imagine the $20 tax is about this much on the axis, um, we know that the suppliers care about the before tax supply. So we'll just put a subscript before tax on the supplier's supply curve. And we know demanders care about the after tax price. Just like that's what you care about when you get your receipt back is what's at the very bottom, not two lines up. You care about the after tax price. So if we take that $20, we, need, we know that the difference between the demand curve and supply curve needs to be equal to exactly the tax. And we can pick up that $20 and put it exactly where the difference between the supply and demand curve is exactly 20. And where that happens, at that particular quantity, that will be the optimal quantity in this tax model. And so we have our before tax price, price before tax. We have our after tax price, price after tax. And the difference is exactly equal to the tax. In this case, that's $20. Um, in which case, we'll have dead weight loss here, we'll have our consumer surplus, our producer surplus, and our government revenue. So let's do this algebraically. So you're given a demand curve, price equals 490 minus 2QD, quantity demanded, and a supply curve, price equals 20 plus QS. So the equilibrium condition used to be, before we had a tax, the equilibrium condition was quantity supplied equals quantity demanded. We're going to have a new equilibrium condition here, and that's going to be that the price, um, the price uh, after tax or the price demanded equals the price before tax plus the tax. And in this case, that's 20. So right now we have three equations and three unknowns. Um, and we can go ahead and label the demand curve with demanders care about after tax and suppliers care about before tax. Um, so we have three unknowns, one, two, and then we know that these two will be equal in equilibrium, quantity supplied equals quantity demanded. Now we just need to solve our three equations and three unknowns. And you can always do that by plugging one equation into another any way you want until you finish the problem. So I'm just going to do this the way I think is easiest. I'm going to plug the after-tax price, this piece, into here, and I'm going to plug the before-tax price, this piece, into here. So we have our after-tax price, which we know is 490 minus 2QD, quantity demanded, or we know quantity will be the same, so we can just get rid of the demanded, equals, and then let's plug in our before-tax, so let's plug in 20, plus Q, our quantity. So we've plugged that in for the, the price before tax, and now we need to finish our equation plus 20 plus that tax. And now we can just solve this for Q, so we can get, we can add 2Q to this side to bring the Qs over here, so we'll have 3Q on this side, and we'll subtract 20 and subtract another 20, so we're going to subtract 40 from the 490, and that's going to give us 450. 450 equals 3Q, so let's divide Q by, uh, by 3, and that gives us 50, 150. So our equilibrium quantity is equal to 150. Now we just need to solve for our before price tax uh, and our after, our before tax price and our after tax price. So we can just do that by plugging back into the demand curve up here. So our price after tax is going to equal 490 minus 2 times QD, and Q in this case will be 150. So 490 minus 300 means our price after tax will be equal to 490 minus three, uh, 300, so that will be 190. And our price before tax, we can, we can solve for the, the same way by plugging in its 20 plus QS, QS is 150, so that's going to equal 170. So we see actually that naturally the difference between our after tax price and our before tax price is exactly equal to our tax 20, and we've solved the problem.